Hi there, it's Nils Weidut. Um, I'm here to talk about something that also is very important um, and give you, I want to give you some ideas um, to, that'll help you get some results a little faster. It, it's quite simple and easy to understand um, but I just want to put it out there and see uh, so that you can see how this can help you. How this can help you. Um, I was thinking that many people who want to be become shredders and become really technical, they have a lot to work on. I mean, unless they've been playing for 30 years and they been practice every day for hours. Um, but if you're relatively new, uh, just playing a few years, um, then you are probably practicing a lot of different stuff, like sweep picking, also picking, legato, tapping, whatever. Um, plus all the other stuff you need to know, of course. Um, but the problem with this is just that you, that's uh, the 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 stages where you see progress can seem so much far out in the future. Um, so, and and you know sometimes it takes so such a long time because there's so much that you need to develop and so much you need to master in order to become a great player. This will, in many situations, kill the passion to practice uh, and the passion for the guitar because it just seems so... Um, they get so overwhelmed by uh, all those things that they think they need to master. And what I want to say to you, if you're one of those people who are uh, feeling like this, because I did so uh, too in the, in the past, um, I was practicing so much and I was putting so many hours in and I, I, don't, I don't want this to, to happen to you because it's, it takes a lot of the fun out of it if you just practice 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 and you don't see uh, improvement for a long 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 time um, and that's just not uh, how it's supposed to be playing guitar it's supposed to be fun um, and so so what I want you uh, to do instead of just practicing all these licks and techniques for hours a day I want you to stay focused on just one thing so let's say that you really like legato or alternate picking then put your all your emphasis on just that for a period of time and then actually practice a little less so if you're practicing for five, five hours a day and you also have a day job or a family or whatever friends sports whatever um, it's really it'll take a long time before you see any development so practice for a little shorter time uh, shorter time slots and then when you do so, practice just one thing. Um, so for example, if you're practicing five hours a day, then cut down to two hours or one and a half hour because you will get a lot uh, done in that time. And if your um, interest and your focus is alert in those one and a half hours or two hours, that's much better than practicing five hours where you're thinking about something else. So. And, and what happens is that if you practice in just one technique, or maybe even two, but let's just say one technique, for a period of time, you will definitely see progress a lot quicker, obviously. Um, the cool thing about that is that that progress will kick you in the butt to wanting to practice even more. So I'm not saying that you should not master all the techniques, not at all, but I'm just saying put a little more on step by step so once you feel uh, that you can actually play some legato or alternate picking that actually starts to sound good then you can add the next technique or the next drill or whatever instead of just having all this stuff that you think that you should know uh, just work on a little gradually and just face the fact that you are not going to be become an amazing guitar player in one year or two years or even or three years even so just take the time and enjoy the process and believe me the process will be so much more fun if you just practice one thing at a time and develop one technique at a time and and you see the you you know you reap the fruits from from practicing one technique and just and believe me it's it's um when you feel those and you see those uh improvements um that you improve in speed and sound and 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 whatever uh, that will definitely make you want to practice even more and just that the process is so so much more fun uh, will will make sure that you uh, 
definitely do not quit because a lot of people quit when they uh, when they practice too much and they don't see the developments or they don't feel that they that they improve and and those also I believe those are the people that I hear from all the time who says I've been playing for so much I practice so much and I've been playing for so long but I never improve how I don't understand why I've, my alternate picking still sucks you know um, this this can be one of the reasons so Try to uh, rearrange your, your practicing schedule for a period of time and just focus on one thing and maybe even cut a little bit down. Of course, if you only practice for 15 minutes a day, you can't cut down, obviously. But if you practice several hours, then cut a little bit down and make the practicing time much more, uh, much more fun and inspiring. And then practice and focus on a little less. So I'm inspired and I'll see you in soon. Thank you.